What do I have? Hold up. Big back, giant, let's go, baby. No, he got off, he got off. Dang it. What's going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today is a Monsters of Minnesota vlog. So the past 10 days I've been traveling around with camera guys around Canada and Minnesota filming this insane fishing trip. But today the weather didn't play quite right for us so we're going to vlog today. I just thought I'd make breakfast for you guys and then kind of explain what the weather's like and why we're not fishing in weather like this. So you may be thinking to yourself, Tyler you're a fisherman. You're supposed to go out there and fish in tough weather. Well, let's head outside. And see what it's like. All right, so you probably can't see it a whole lot, but it is a nasty, nasty Minnesota summer day. You got like steam blowing off the water because it's so cold, and it's been raining for hours. So let's let's uh, take a step outside and see how cold it is. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is cold. That is that is really cold. This this rain is like probably 50 or 45 and. I'm freezing right now, so I'm gonna go back inside and uh, we'll figure out something to do. So when it's a rainy day, what else is there to do but sit down and edit? So I have tons of footage from before Monsters of Minnesota trip that we're on now and during, and so we're gonna start editing a whole bunch of that. So currently I have been editing a, uh, a monster bluegill challenge. You guys remember this video of me catching giant bluegill? <laughs> I'm just kidding, they were the tiny bluegill. And Perry is editing some sort of sorority video. I don't know, well, a helicopter and some sorority girls. So there's Perry doing that for the big bucks and I'm over here doing this micro bluegill for y'all. It is time to go outside and brave the cold. We've got to pack up the, uh, the truck right now for our last little run north. So hopefully it's not too chilly out here. It's, it's drizzling a little bit, but it's not bad. I would definitely not enjoy fishing in this weather. So it's a good thing we had the choice, but Lots of stuff to pack. Oh, it's starting to rain now. Oh boy. Oh! So in case you've been wondering how I've uh, been traveling with clothes and such, basically have this bin like we have at camp. It has underwear, socks, shorts, jackets, all that stuff. So I've got some dirty clothes here that I just kind of shove in the bottom there. And it works. All right, kind of get all this stuff in there before I freeze. All right, folks, we are ready to roll out. Ooh, it took a while to start, that was scary. Perry and I are ready to go, and we're gonna head to Starbucks to find some Wi-Fi and uh, get some fuel, as my truck tells me to, and uh, get ready to go up north. Hopefully the weather doesn't follow us. I think it's gonna clear up, that's what the weather said, uh, or the weather channel said. It should clear up tomorrow morning, so let's get going, boys and girls. We are heading into Starbucks to get some work done with the Wi-Fi there. So Perry's got to put up his sorority video and I've got to put up a micro fishing challenge. So Starbucks was a no. Uh, the Wi-Fi was even worse than my uncle's house, which is like the Wi-Fi is down right now. So we're going to try to find some place that actually has good upload speeds. I think a lot of places you can actually just watch videos with you know, fast speed, but upload is different. So I'm going to try one more coffee place and then maybe reach out to you guys that live up here and find out if you guys have any good Wi-Fi. Caribou coffee it is. I guess that's the chain they have up here of coffee shops, so cross fingers. Psych, that was no good either, so I'm gonna find a public library maybe? Honestly, I have no clue what's, what to do right now. I'm here with Mrs. Digger at the public library. I haven't been to a public library in a long time, so, oh, Lord, please help good wife out to be here. Welcome to Ogilvy. 
beautiful Ogilvy, Minnesota. I have no clue where this town came from, but we are uh, we're heading back to Mille Lacs to meet JP. Oh, we got the Wi-Fi figured out, by the way. So Perry put up his Zeta video, I put up a TRF video, and uh, we're heading up to Mille Lacs to meet JP, get my lucky tackle box that I left in his boat, and then we're going to head over to Brainerd and stay on Gold Lake for two days and uh, kind of talk about on the rest of this vlog what the rest of our two filming days look like, rig up some tackle, all that kind of stuff before hopefully no more rain comes in. So, we'll see you guys there. Oh. <laughs> yes, he wasn't looking. Well, thank you for the delivery, Mr. JP. No problem, bro. All right, well, thank you, sir. No problem, bro. I needed this, and I'll see you later. See you, bro. Take it easy, man. You too, bro. We need a bro counter for how many times he said bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got the lucky tackle box, though.